How do you avoid micromanagement? So how do you get more freedom and autonomy in your work situation? Because I'm sure most people have probably had one of those really bad bosses in the past where no matter how hard you worked or how much you showed that you could work autonomously, they're always like micromanaging everything you do and and sort of always checking up on you. And it really just like kills any motivation you have and affects like your performance and your happiness at work. So, and in some cases, that's just because people are lazy and they, they don't do work. But a lot of times there are, most bosses don't want to actually micromanage. They want to sort of be able to let you tick along in the background. So how do you actually get that freedom and autonomy in your work? And I think there's, there's a few things that I try to practice that help a lot with that. So the first thing is you've got to actually deliver results. So what are you actually getting paid for and, and are you doing that consistently? Because most of the time, people, bosses start to micromanage people because either they're not delivering results or they feel like they're being like lazy when the boss isn't around. So they feel like they need to check up on that person. So if you can sort of deliver results consistently, that's the first step. So you need to be able to do that on a consistent basis, whether or then the boss is there or not, because a lot of the time people, when the boss goes away, that's when they sort of take it easy and, and slack off a bit. But you need to almost do the opposite. Like when they're not around, that's when you need to go harder and actually um, prove that, that you can be trusted with freedom and by yourself. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is to avoid micromanagement long term. At the start, you've actually got to micromanage yourself. So what I mean by that is make a make note of all the stuff you're doing, all the results you're getting, and and like basically even if you're not being micromanaged, like no one's asking for it, make a note of all the stuff you're doing all the things you're working on so that you can actually show what you've been doing initially. And it kind of leads into the third point, which is you've got to over-communicate at the start. So later on, you can have your freedom, but at the start, you've got to really... Like, having freedom and autonomy is, is a privilege, not a right. So you've got to actually show that you're, you're able to deliver those results consistently, show what you've been working on, even if you're not asked. So you want to eventually get to the point where your boss is basically telling you to stop communicating with them so much because they trust you and they, they know you can, they can leave you and rely on you to deliver results. But, but to get to that point, you have to initially basically micromanage yourself and then over-communicate those results to your boss. And then eventually, they'll let you do your own thing. So, yeah, those are three little tips to, to get a bit more freedom and, and autonomy at work. And, and the thing is, when you start to get that freedom... You can't then slack off. That's once you start to get that, you need to kind of maintain those results consistently. Otherwise, it'll just get taken away. So, um, but yeah, it's always a lot more satisfying if you have a bit more freedom and autonomy to to do things the way you see best. So, just a few little tips there that hopefully help out. So, yeah, please subscribe to this channel if you like these videos. I'll keep doing more. Hope that helps a bit, and I'll talk to you soon.